because people are he's like tell me exactly what he did um you know he is he's on hormone therapy he's been very vocal about that he's not on growth hormone he's not on deca he's not on anadivar he's not on nandrolone he's not on anabolic steroids you know there's a lot of nonsense about that on the on the web too um and then he went on a strict you know ketogenic diet he did get a red light therapy bed he did get a pmf mat he did start doing cold plunging and he does use something called hypermax multi-step oxygen therapy again all of which you can do for no cost just what we talked about earlier and um and he got really regimented about it um he didn't drink we cut all the white flour white rice white bread white pasta white flour completely out of his diet um, and sugars of all kinds, which you can't have on a keto diet anyway. One of the interesting things about putting your body into a state of ketosis is that, um, and I'm kind of surprised that Paul Saladino doesn't talk about this because he's big, you know, he's, he's obviously the carnivore diet, um, but grass-fed meat and grass-fed animal products, eggs and dairy, um, when these fats are broken down and turned into water in the Krebs cycle, what happens is, it produces a type of water in the cell called deuterium depleted water. If you really want to blow your mind sometime, look up deuterium depleted water. It is astounding the number of pathologies and diseases that are linked to deuterium water. Deuterium water is, you know, water is two, two hydrogens and one oxygen, but when you actually have an extra neutron, which doesn't sound like a big deal molecularly when you have an extra neutron what happens is when that water molecule enters, enters the krebs cycle it breaks the krebs cycle it actually wrecks the mitochondrial metabolism when you eat a diet high in in um grass-fed uh, animal fats um eggs dairy um fatty fish the type of water that the body creates is called deuterium depleted water it's light water it is actually more efficient, doesn't break the mitochondria. Do you know that a human, that our bodies produce about 100 gallons of intracellular water every day? And when I say that, people freak out. They're like, that's impossible. Um, I only drink a half a gallon of water. So how does my body produce a gallon of water? You produce water inside your cells the same way we produce it in space. You take two hydrogens, one oxygen, you put them together, you have a water molecule. You're not capable of drinking enough water in two weeks to power your mitochondria for 50 minutes. Right? You have to create intracellular water. So we take these gases, we put them together, we create cellular water, and then we break it apart and inside of the Krebs cycle. So when that water becomes heavy, deuterium, some of the water that's entering that Krebs cycle starts to break the Krebs cycle and reduce its efficiency. When that water is light, like when it's generated um, when you're in ketosis or from grass-fed um, animal fats, um, eggs, dairy, things like that. The, um, or actually uh, even, even, even plant-based fats like uh, uh, shelled hemp seeds. That water is light. And when it powers the mitochondria, it doesn't break any of, of the Krebs cycle. And deuterium depleted water is now being used in cancer treatments, in all kinds of oncology treatments for difficult to treat cancers like glioblastomas and other things. Um, so I, I, I look look up deuterium depleted water. You, you, you'll just be blown away by how much evidence there is for how healthy this type of light water is for us. You can also buy it and drink it, but it's retardedly expensive. You might as well have your body produce it by by eating healthy, saturated animal fats from grass-fed sources. So you put them on this uh, prescribed ketogenic diet. Yep. And what were the foods? And so other than grass-fed. Meat? Um. So he ate meat. Fish, chicken, eggs, avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, nuts. Um, basically, I said there are um, there's going to be five oils in your kitchen: um, grass-fed butter or ghee butter, a tallow or coconut oil um, for cooking. Period. So we only had tallow, grass-fed butter, ghee butter, or coconut oil, and those were for cooking. The only oil that he used at room temperature was olive oil. We didn't use that for cooking, but we used an extra virgin olive oil. So so that we made sure that he didn't get into a dirty keto diet, right? Because there are a lot of fats and fried foods and, and seed oils that you could drink, you know, eat that would be keto, right? right? But they would be what I would call dirty keto. Okay. Um, and then uh, we also put him on a peptide. Um, at the time, it was a growth hormone peptide, sermorlin and ipamorlin. 
Um, one is a GHRP, a growth hormone releasing uh, peptide. The other one is a GHRH, a growth hormone releasing hormone. We use these in combination to make sure that when you take this at night to try to capture that circadian pulse of growth hormone, that you stimulate both the hypothalamus and the pituitary just in the off chance that your pituitary had recently secreted growth hormone, we could actually override that negative feedback loop and make sure that every time that he took it, he got a, a secretion of nighttime growth hormone because I also wanted to deepen, um, you know, deepen his sleep. Then I went aggressively after the inflammation um, with one of the products I make myself, which is called 10X Brain and Immune Boost, but I also put him on a mycelized turmeric and curcumin drops. So these are nanoparticle turmeric and curcumin with bio aloe that you put under the tongue that go right into the bloodstream and immediately knock down inflammation. For like people that have problems um, urinating because their prostate is swollen, you, you, a few drops of mycelized turmeric and curcumin and that problem just, you know, eviscerates. So mm. I was really aggressive after inflammation and circulation. Um, I didn't actually have him exercising intensely at first because, um, you know, with with insulin resistance and being pre-diabetic and, and just two or three tenths of a point away from being actually diabetic, um, with a triglyceride level at, at that life-threatening level and um, also having that abdominal adiposity and then very severe hypertension with this very elevated hyperhomocysteinemia. Then I put him on a 10X multivitamin. It's called Optimize. It's, a, it's actually a vitamin I designed myself. It took me about two and a half years to get all the methylated nutrients into the right formulation so that I could address all of these genetic breaks that he had, one of which was particularly his inability to methylate homocysteine. So I put him on a vitamin called 10X Optimize that I formulated myself, and then I got uh, trimethylglycine. I think I got that from Life Extension, but I got trimethylglycine. He took two capsules of, of trimethylglycine in the morning. And I'm telling you, Joe, week over week over week, if you ask him, he will tell you every week my average blood pressure reading started to come down. Every week. Each week, my sleep score started to marginally improve. I wasn't sleeping longer. I started sleeping more deeply.